and welcome to the uh, Home Park Review. Uh, it's myself, Alan Kelly, and Elliot Kelly, all right? And we're going to talk briefly about the uh, game between Plymouth Argyle, or Sheffield Wednesday and Plymouth Argyle, and, and the 1 0 defeat, basically. So Plymouth Argyle got knocked off the top spot by Sheffield Wednesday. And after losing to their closest rivals, the battle of the top two. And Wednesday go on top, Sheffield Wednesday go on top by goal difference. And it's the first time really that uh, Plymouth Argyle have been uh, lost a game since mid-December. So that was good going. And uh, it was a tough old battle, Elliot. Uh, you, you this is, but that's, but that's the thing, on paper, on paper that sounds good. It sounds like, yeah, we haven't, we haven't lost. But if you look at their away form, they haven't won in five. It, they're only good at home, Argyle. And that's... Uh, Highlighted again by going to Wednesday and, and losing, you know the, the the away form for Argyle this season has been not up to par. And that's you know, and that's why that's why we've been knocked off the top there. That's uh, really unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, but I, I, you look at the next uh, lot of fixtures. We have got Portsmouth at home, Oxford away, Fleetwood Town at home, Cheltenham away, Peterborough away. Right, hmm. so. That does. That's not a difficult run. I mean, that's uh, they the you know these teams are struggling. The, you know, um, Ipswich as well did, did a Plymouth Argyle a favour. It was a one all draw with Cambridge, so that that still leaves Plymouth Argyle a full six points ahead of Ipswich Town. And not only that, uh, Sheffield Wednesday still have to play Ipswich Town, so that's not going to be easy for them. That Ipswich Town are not going to lie down and you know say hey, there you go. So they're going to make that a tough battle. But yeah, if we get back to the game a bit a second, I I I, I thought that uh, that uh, my opinion anyway, I I thought that Sheffield Wednesday had kind of sussed out Plymouth a little bit for this game. They obviously watched them with their slick passing, their eye of the needle stuff, and like kind of, and they uh, certainly the first half they were roughing them up. They were was committing lots of fouls and things like yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, you look at Tyrek White, you know, he, he he couldn't he couldn't get a move in, you know, he couldn't make the. The, yeah. the runs that he's normally making, you know, they, they shut him down. And credit where credit's due, you know, you got to respect that. That's some game, good game management yeah, there. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't particularly you like didn't it. You'd expect Argyle to have done the same, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, it would have been nice if it was done. I mean, no, get me wrong. Uh, they, those two teams are up there because they're, they're currently the best in that particular league. There's a reason why they're at the top. But I, I just felt that uh, the way their style in the first half, particularly Sheffield Wednesday, was was a deliberate kind of roughing them up, you know, we're not going to let them play this slick football. Yeah. And they I mean, clearly couldn't like, get going well, the first Yeah. Half. I mean, that, but that's, that's, as the home team, as a second in the league, home team, you expect them to come out swinging. You know, you, you don't expect to go to someone's house, you know, and just, they just sit back on it. You know, they, mm. they came out, they came out swinging and uh, I don't think Argyle were ready. I don't think Argyle were ready. I think I they, agree. you know, they I agree. Kind and... of caught them, caught them on the back foot, that. Yeah, yeah, and, and you know, if you look at the goal as well, like again, it's hard to say. Hats off to him. The goal is is incredible. It's uh, what a goal, you know, and it's it's just that little bit of luck that Argyle didn't seem to have um, going into it. Yeah, although I mean, although they did get a goal disallowed, so uh, maybe maybe that was their luck. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, that that first goal was Sheffield Wednesday. You got to say that uh, it would have like it came from a throw in, uh, and it was a Peterson, I think the guy's name. And um, but yeah, he, he just like swiveled around and whacked it. It was a brilliant. He took it really, really well. You have to say, but uh, yeah, uh, this Plymouth weren't without. I mean, they they weren't without their own chances, particularly in the second half. Well, yeah, that's, it, that's, yeah. that's what I say about the the home form for for the home team because you know if you can have someone come to your house to to play you and they don't have a shot on goal for twenty one minutes in the first yeah, half, that's, like, that was. That kind of says a lot, doesn't it? Really, I mean that. But that actual that attempt on goal was pretty good. I mean, it's Jamie Tate got fouled on the on the penalty area. Then it was a free kick. I think Wright took it, and what a curling shot! If we looked for all the world that that was going to go in, it was a brilliant save by the Wednesday keeper. Yeah. But you know, as you as you say, there not to not have a goal for and a shot on goal for twenty one minutes. It does tell you a lot about that that first half, anyway. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, they lost uh, Dan Scar through uh, injury and also the keeper is it Mike Mike Cooper okay so yeah the the second half Elliot the, uh, the uh, 
they responded a lot better. I mean, Schumacher, he must have had a bit of a go at them in the, in the, in, in the dressing room there because they, were, they weren't playing so well. But they came out a lot better in the second half and he also brought on substitutes. Uh, and what we got, we got substitutes, we've got uh, Cosgrove and Hardy, which we saw them at, uh, at Cheltenham Town and they were brilliant. I, I'm surprised that they weren't on from the off, uh, you know, that they were even on the bench, but... Of course, for sure. You know, every time he comes on, he seems to be, he seems to have a hand in a goal, be it you know assisting or actually scoring. So yeah, it, it's an odd one, but uh, just didn't have the impact, did they? Those, I just yeah. fell short. I thought, really I thought they, yeah, when the, the second half when when he brought those two subs on, though, they the Argyle were looking definitely more threatening. I did. Yeah, those on goal. Yeah, I, yeah, I would agree with you. Yeah, as you said, he, he, they've definitely had. Um, you know, they've had their ear bent in the in the changing room, and he's come back out, and they've yeah. uh, they've given I, it a better shot. They took the game I mean, to it, Wednesday in the second half, but but uh, exactly. Know, but if you've got you know the the heavy side of the ref's decisions coming your way and ten minutes extra added time at the end yeah. of the game and you can't pull it out the bag, you know it's uh, yeah, it, it just wasn't to me. Wasn't, it wasn't going to be. I mean, the thought they were getting a stroke of luck when the, the Sheffield we talked about it earlier. Sheffield Wednesday did get a second goal and it looked looked mm. again for all the world that that was going to stay. But you know the, the, the lines when he's on the right hand side, it's just decided to leave his wave his flag, and then yeah, out of nowhere that got disallowed. Um, yeah. So, but yeah, I assume he got job. disallowed because the, the other guy was playing him on side, or but I, I, it looked like he, he didn't touch it. But you know, whatever, it, it, we, they they didn't give it, and that's that's all the important things. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, again, that's all. It's all goal difference, isn't it? So it, it's only one goal rather than a two. Well, that's it, you know, cause, because they, you know, they, they are above us on goal difference now, and that's uh, that, yeah, that, that, that is the one. defining so, yeah. feature right there, exactly. Yeah, so uh, thirty three thousand four hundred odd. Uh, that's 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 like Premiership kind of area, isn't it? The the, the amount of crowd down, and and Plymouth took uh, uh, three and a half, three thousand seven hundred fans up. That's pretty good for you know. For, that's really good. That's yeah. really good. I mean, yeah, it's it's a top of the league class, you know, so I I would expect that. But uh, also, that's that's hefty. Well done. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that. no, they they did well. So these, yeah, we just took briefly on it there. But uh, the next few fixtures, and we got to so Portsmouth. How do you see that one? That's Saturday. How do you mm. see? I mean, I out of the next five fixtures, I think Portsmouth probably going to be the toughest one. Mm. Um, that's the others. Uh, that's at home, isn't it? Home to Pompey. Yeah, it's, it, but that's the advantage that they have. I mean, yeah, it's going to. I think that's probably the toughest one, but at least it's at uh, home park. So I think that the crowd will play a hand in helping Plymouth across the line on that one. But uh, also, you know, Plymouth haven't lost for a while, so that will hurt the you know being knocked off the top. So I think over the next what I'm looking yeah, at. Five fixtures that 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 Plymouth could, could easily see him back up there again. As I say, Wednesday I've got Ipswich to come. Um, I, it's not, you know, they'll stop. I mean, it's, it's like I said, though, uh, it's unfortunate for Argyle that the, the away form this season has just been dire. They've been absolutely dire. It, mm. it really just hasn't been there. So the fact that you know the Portsmouth are coming to Argyle, yeah, the, the 12th man there is definitely going to be. More confident, we know that we'll play well at home, you know, for whatever reason. So I, I do see uh, an Argyle win coming out of that. But yeah, it's it's so any, any away game for Argyle, it's so up in the air. It's it's a one one draw, nil nil draw. Oxford good. away, I mean, they're they're halfway down the table, so I didn't quite mm. clock it, but they they well down there. And then Fleetwood Town, much the same as Oxford, they're down there. That's the next home game after Portsmouth, and then Plymouth. They've got Cheltenham Town again. Um, in the trophy, of course, that is uh, your Papa John's trophy, and then it's uh, it's Peterborough uh, for Argyle away. So again, they're all sort of those te- those teams are in the same kind of area in the league. So uh, this is a this is a chance for Plymouth Argyle to to sort of uh, get a bit of daylight. I think I think this is it's a good. Yeah. I'm not saying. It I mean, I, I said that about this game though. I, you know, I said that about this game. It's it's. In my eyes, this was a must-win for Argyle because if we won this game, then we're almost out of not out of sight. But you know, it's it, it's even harder for them to, to. But now it's down to Argyle. You know, we've really got to show resolve and pull it out it of the bag. Is, it you is. Know, and that's, uh... I think, yeah, like I say, with the games coming up, Portsmouth being the toughest, yeah, they could definitely uh, 
sort themselves out here and put some distance either between them and Ipswich or put pile the pressure on Sheffield Wednesday because after all it's only goal difference. Yeah, yeah. You know, they're not they're not pulling away. So uh, you know, I think uh, Wednesday could start feeling the pressure there. <laughs> if Plymouth Argyle have this what I'm calling an easy run, then uh, they they might start notching up the points. You know, uh, Sheffield Wednesday got to stick with it. You know, so I think uh, yeah. Pressure's yeah, on. but uh, pressure's on them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that that could work in our favour as well. You know, not being top of the league, that could take a little bit of pressure off and, you know, it's a bit more free-flowing again. Um, but I who knows, so. you know. It's, so. uh, anyway, we'll be, at, we'll be at the Portsmouth game. We'll wrap it up here now, Ali, if that's OK. We'll be at the Portsmouth yep. game. Hopefully give you a little report from that. Um, but yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe, all those that are watching. Uh, and thanks for watching. And we'll come back to you. We'll see you at the uh, match report for Portsmouth. Okay. See you. Yep. Great Bye. on it.